Running originally got the reputation for being an inexpensive sport from the ancient Greeks, who ran without the use of shoes and without the use of uh, clothing. But most of us would be a bit embarrassed to jog around our block without any clothes on. In fact, most of us start out with an outfit like this, an old pair of tennis shoes, our high school gym shorts, and a white t-shirt. Total cost on this outfit, about 20 bucks. But if you're so inclined, you can spend a little bit more money. For instance, a good pair of running shoes could cost you about 25 bucks. But you can get a great pair for $100. And of course, you'll want some $12 running socks to go with your $30 singlet and shorts. I'll have to admit I was pleased when the acrylic warm-up suit replaced the old cotton gray sweatsuits in the 1970s, but I don't know if I'm quite ready for the latest in cool weather running apparel. Lycra running tights. I think I'll just have to stick to the old Gore-Tex running suit by Alberto Salazar for $250. Of course, financing on this model is usually available. You don't see many runners jogging with stopwatches in their hands these days. Fortunately, the runner's wristwatch was invented, and today these babies give you everything, from your pulse to your temperature, and most of them even tell the time. Of course, the Walkman was a great boom. On this, you can listen to your motivational tapes of Michael Jackson or Bill Rogers. But there are plenty of other accessories to spend your money on. For instance, if you want to build up your upper body, you can carry weights in your hands with the running stick or the running gloves or your heavy hands. And of course, you want to know how far you ran, and you want to get there safely at night, so you need a reflective vest, maybe a reflective sweatband. And if it's raining, you need a deer stalker hat to keep the water out of your ears. Of course, $18 mittens are a big help. And here's one final item you won't want to be without. Even if you can't move to Boulder, Colorado and train at 7,000 feet, for $210, you can get this high-altitude simulator and train like you're in the mountains every day. So you see, in just 15 minutes and $1,077.98, I made the simple transition from the jogger of the 70s to the high-tech runner of the 80s.